I got another big old Premier Palpal Pack box to play around with, so let's open it up and see what's inside. I feel like I said the same thing every time. Ooh. Ooh, green maggots. So right on top we have the list of supplies included as well as their retail values and a brief description. So it looks like the first thing in here is this golden, ooh, acrylic traditional set. So it's slow drying traditional acrylic paints. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh, that is, that is a gorgeous color scheme. Look at that. It reminds me of fall. Now they have the word open on them really big and I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Okay, I think I get it. All right, so open and slow drying kind of go hand in hand. So it means you can leave it on the palette and use it for a while, but it also means it's gonna dry slowly on your canvas, I assume as well. So for the colors, we have Van Dyke brown hue, titanium white, lining them up with their little swatches. <laughs> Indian yellow hue. Oh dear, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, Alizarin crimson hue, or maybe. And last two is ultramarine blue and sap green. All right, okay. That's not gonna work. Yeah, it says they remain wet far longer on a palette during painting sessions. Excellent blending, less wasted paint due to drying and palette loss, and available in 80 different colors. This looks like grass. These are actually really big tubes for anything I've ever gotten in a subscription box. They're each 22 milliliters, it looks like. Line them all up beautifully. <laughs> I see a bunch of canvases. This one is a five by seven by Alt Alternatives, classic cotton canvas. Oh, there's a weird little flat one. This is a five by seven economy cotton canvas panel. It's also pre-primed with acid-free gesso. Look how skinny that is. So it's the same size as this one, but it's flat. Oh, and there's a really big one. Oh, and a paintbrush. And it's green, just like the rest of the box. There's a theme here. And lastly, oh, another flat one. <laughs> oh, you can see my lights. That's how I get those like no shadows. Look at that. Look, no shadow. No shadow. <laughs> my biggest pet peeve when I first started making videos and filming like traditional art videos was my head would cast this annoying shadow and it was just my biggest pet peeve. And I was like, I need to find a way to avoid that. And it, I have these giant umbrella lights now and oh, just look at how nice and shadowless. <laughs> oh, it just gives me so much joy. Are there any more paint brushes? Okay, so there's just the one paintbrush. That's a little disappointing. I wish there was like maybe less canvas and maybe another paintbrush. Which one should we draw on? I'm kind of feeling this. Let's open them up. How do I do that? <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, so fun texture. I don't think I've drawn on a canvas in uh, years. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of paper. I, I enjoy a nice flimsy sheet of tree carcass, you know? Boop, 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 boop. La. Oh, there it goes. All right, so those are the colors we've got. Ding, 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 ding. I like these colors. Definitely aren't colors I would have like picked, but they look so good together. They've got like a primary set right there. <laughs> these are slow drying, so I'm not gonna really close this sketchbook in a long time. <laughs> I could try mixing these colors and seeing what we get. Ooh, that's a nice orange, isn't it? Like a nice like, leaf orange there i've swatched out the colors mixed a couple of them to see some like secondary colors here and now i'm going to quickly sketch something out as an idea and then we'll start putting that onto the canvas Ooh, i made a pink <laughs> of course i did Ooh, what if it's like a girl falling with leaves also falling for fall <laughs> that's so literal <laughs> Try that again. I like the fluidity of this one. It looks like she's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> that was not the intent. Oh, I have another idea. I like this layout, but I don't think she looks like she's falling enough. <laughs> what if the whole thing's just upside down? Ooh, freakishly long hair. Yeah, I mean, that could be interesting. That, that does give me more of a falling vibe. Now what I'm scared of the most <clears throat> is the colors. I'm not entirely sure how to mix them all together, but I'm thinking the background could be like a bluish greenish with a hint of white so it's more pastel background and then have those bold fall colors on the foreground. Would that work? Let's mix the colors. This is my makeshift palette. It's a plate. <laughs> 
I think I might add some white to that. Yeah, I'm just mixing it with the back of the paintbrush. A really cruddy one that I'm probably gonna throw away, so it's, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna grab a bigger paintbrush. I have this big flat one. I don't know if it's for acrylics, but I'm gonna use it. I think I'm gonna just coat the whole background, and then once that dries, I'll sketch the idea out. Hopefully this works. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that is really just fun to... Oh, look at the texture. Oh, I'm just going to enjoy myself and do this very slowly. <laughs> this is just... Ooh, it's just kind of fun. Right up into the corners. I like this color a lot. It's so pretty. I wonder if I could fade to a lighter color at the bottom. What if I added a little more white? And then add that final bottom layer with that. Does that even look any different? Barely. <laughs> oh, the camera looks way different. Blend that upwards. I try to color the edges as well. I wonder if I should just lift it. Well, that looks pretty cool. There we go. Okay, I painted all of the edges. Oh, wait, I missed a spot. Okay, now all of the edges are painted. <laughs> now I just need to wait for this to dry. And then I can start sketching my idea. And I'm hoping the drying time isn't too much. Or I might have to just come back tomorrow. But while that's drying, I'm going to continue on the thumbnail and try to iron out the idea a little bit more. But I'll come right back once this is dry. All right, it's still a little tacky, but I think I can work with this. I can start adding in the paint. And what I've been doing in the last two hours that it got, it took to get tacky <laughs> is I've been trying to work on my thumbnail and my idea. So I developed a little bit more and I realized with acrylics, they don't really work the way that I tend to use art supplies. So I was like, I think I need to <laughs> come up with a different idea here. On this next page I realized, I think I need to zoom in a little. So either go with one of these ideas because the way acrylics work, they're very brushy and soft and squishy and you kind of just blend the colors after they're already on the canvas. And that doesn't really work well with my other ideas, at least not how I've experienced them. So I don't really want to dive in too deep to the point where I, because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I want to try and take this a little bit simple and try to get something that a result that I'm happy with and experiment with this new art supply at the same time. So let's try and do something like that. I also found out that these acrylics are more transparent than I expected. So this green layer might've been a bad idea. Can I draw it all? Let's see. Just trying to get a basic outline shape that I need. And it's okay if I mess up the paint where the character's gonna be because it doesn't need to be green, you know? Not sure how well you can see. <laughs> the outline is really what I'm focusing on because paint's gonna cover up everything else. Oh, I think by pulling her hips upwards, it gives more of that falling illusion that I'm going for. Okay, and then I want leaves in here too somewhere. They look like they're falling, you know? <laughs> There's just paint building up on the end of the brush. And I'm also like trying to curl them a little bit so they don't just look flat on the paper. <laughs> there you go. I think it looks kind of cute. And there's a nice uh, angle of visual interest. <laughs> Next, I'm going to try and block down some colors. I'm going to use this number 10 C White flat brush. And I'm going to start by adding in the hair. I'm going to use the Van Dyke Brown first, and then blend it in with some of that crimson. Ooh, dang, I like it. Nice and solid. <laughs> Trying to see where the pencil is. It's kind of hard. Kind of guessing. Just worry about blocking in the outline of the shape first. Is my goal. I think I said that already, but. That's the idea. <laughs> Another extra strand of hair here. I kind of could have her dress go from like a red to a, what was this color? <laughs> Van Dyke Brown. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of this down at the edge and kind of fade it out. All right, and then switch after cleaning the brush, switch over to the crimson and try to fade down into the brown. 
because like the point of these paints is that they dry slowly so I want to try and take advantage of that and use it to blend and really play with these acrylics probably take a little bit more of the brown add a bit of a gradient works pretty well there we go. okay the next color to block in I actually could do these leaves that might be a good idea let me switch over to the brush that actually came with the box actually clean the one I just used and uh, color in some of these leaves. Make one of them red. Probably have to go over that later. <laughs> right now it's just a blob. Maybe a straight up brown one. Actually, why don't we mix the brown in with some of the red. Mix in some darker tones. Looks kind of cool actually. Kind of looks like a little man falling. <laughs> there we go. There we have the leaves. Now for the skin, I kind of want to go with a bit of an exaggerated saturated tone. So instead of like mixing any of the colors at first, I think I'm going to go in straight with the Indian yellow and just put in a flat layer and then start mixing some colors and adding blotches here and there to try and create more tone. So let's go in with that. Just first add a layer down. Now a little bit of green is poking through, so I am going to have to do another coat probably. I think I'm going to have to add a lot more to the face here. I'm just going to have to remember what it looked like. <laughs> now what I remember from sort of learning to do portraits digitally will hopefully translate a little bit. But like the basics of shading a face should pretty much remain the same I would think. But how you do it is going to be very different. Now from what I did from like experimenting in my sketchbook, I'm already noticing that these paints are acting very differently on the canvas than they did in the sketchbook. The sketchbook kind of tried to absorb them a little bit more, whereas this is, it's just ink sitting on top of there and I can like push it around, which I'm hoping isn't going to cause me too much trouble. Next I want to mix some of the crimson with the orange or yellow, I guess that's a yellow. Going with this one, shading the face very Simply. I know we want- oh see look it just pushes that ink out of the way. I want it to be dark under the chin. If I dry the brush a little. Yeah it's just moving the paint. No this wasn't happening with, with my experiment on my sketchbook. Oh that's actually really frustrating. <laughs> Let's try to do the face anyway. So I like to make it dark in the center of the face then lighten up the nose. Then so you would grab like this and go straight into the nose and the eyes are usually a little bit more in shadow let me try a different smaller paintbrush maybe just like glob it i'm gonna darken this whole center of the face like that okay and then i'm going to mix some of the white with this yellow add that for the nose this should all blend hopefully i'm hoping <laughs> And I'm going to add blotches of this lighter color where there'd be more light hitting the face. So like the forehead would have more light. And the nose, and like uh, right around here, and uh, right above the lip and the chin. Elbows and shoulders and things. And then try to sort of blend that out without losing the paint. Maybe the eyebrows here. I'm not entirely really sure what to say. <laughs> I'm kind of just playing with this and I'm going to keep tweaking it until I hopefully see something that I like. Basically my technique so far is just blotch down a ton of paint and then sort of blend it with the colors around it. Yeah, it's definitely unlike any other medium I've tried recently. <laughs> so this is um, basically all experimenting I guess I would say. Because I actually currently have no idea if this is going to turn out. <laughs> I'm very nervous here. This is really creepy because it doesn't have a face yet. It's just... <laughs> well, it's it's the head but not the face. That's really creepy. Something out of a horror movie. I'm starting to lose the green tint in some of these areas, which is good. I didn't... I really don't want it to look too green. Because that's helping with the horror aspect of it because it's sort of like dead skin. I'm gonna do sort of the same thing down here with the body. Just try to create that 3D shape. Just keep throwing paint down here and hoping for the best. <laughs> How's that looking? So I need to lighten up right under her nose. I think that's too dark. Kind of a mustache, but it's fine. It's fine. 
I think that's kind of what people look like. Especially if I blend it out. It's honestly not too bad. I feel like it's getting... it's getting there. I just keep tweaking it. It slowly gets better and better. This is one of those lessons where it's like, don't give up just because it's ugly. It's gotta start ugly and then you gotta sort of find where it needs to go and just keep playing with it. If I hadn't done any digital painting all summer, then I don't think this would be anywhere near what it is right now. But luckily I've been kind of studying how to shade a face. So I've been... otherwise I think I'd be completely lost right now. I'm very thankful for those hours of digital painting that I put in this summer. I'm really afraid right now to add in like the face eyelashes and the eyes and the eyebrows because that color is going to be so different than what I'm painting right now that if I accidentally bump into it it's going to smudge and then it's not going to give me what I want. So I'm trying to avoid that even though it's really freaky without it. Pull down the hairline a little. Another thing I did in my concept sketch was I added some red to the hair. Probably even grab this color and add some highlight. This is so weird. This looks like someone else drew it. <laughs> wow. Having an identity crisis. <laughs> trying to decide what to do next. I don't want to ruin what I have, but I also want to make it better. Let's mix some more of the Indian yellow with the white. Do some more to this nose. I draw a face without the actual face. Try to just add some white here where the eyes would be. Ah, that's not helping with it making it any less creepy, is it? Okay, okay. See what's happening here. I'm really glad that I waited that time for like the green to dry because in that time I learned so much about how to use these acrylic paints and like yeah they're very different than what I'm used to. So I'm very happy I had that time to sort of just play with them off camera. Basically what I'm enjoying the most about these is the blending and you're able to like mix a bunch of colors just right there on the palette. Well not the palette, the canvas. <laughs> like you can put down a color and it's too dark but then as you just sort of like smudge it around it like becomes the right color. It's kind of interesting. Add some under eyelids here, some chin, maybe some more nose, maybe add some eyelids on the top work on these lips. It's a really simple just line and I feel like it made a big difference. Not much to say, just keep doing the same thing. <laughs> Throwing down paint and uh, blending it together. I really like the effect of the Indian yellow with the crimson. Like the different colors you're able to get with that. And I think it's the green in the background that I also really like. It's adding that sort of eerie creepiness to the skin as it pokes through. Okay, I think I'm gonna add some white to some of the crimson so I can add some more color variation to the skirt here. Or dress, I guess. Blend it in. It's not blending that much. So I add some more of the dark so I can blend it. Yeah, that's actually dry down there. Interesting. Just keep blending, just keep blending. If at first it's ugly, just blend. And if it's still ugly, keep blending. That's the motto. Cleaning off the brush every once in a while really helps too with the blending. Not exactly what I was going for, but less flat now, which is what I didn't want. Because usually my art style is pretty flat, I feel like. So the fact that these paints don't really allow for that, I want to avoid that as much as possible, if that makes sense. Blend, 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 blend. We're just kind of like trying different things and hoping for the best. And I'm honestly, I think it's turning out way better than I anticipated. <laughs> so I have no complaints. A little bit lighter on the side here. Make it look a little backlit, maybe. I wonder if the face is drier now. I kind of want to add some more redness tone, reddish tones to like the cheeks. It doesn't really look any pinker, does it? Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, it's definitely pinker. Let's see the chin and the elbows. Oh, that's why do I keep calling them elbows? The shoulders. Yeah, I kind of like that color. It's really pretty. It's like a coral. Because I'm like, hmm, I wonder what this will do. Because I have no idea. And then I'm like, hmm, that looks different. My paint water kind of looks like chocolate milk right now. Can I show you? Ta-da. <laughs> like really watered down chocolate milk. <laughs> I just 
adding a bit of a stroke to some of these places where it should be a bit more shadowed. I'm trying to get rid of the canvasy texture because there's some areas where the paint didn't quite make a smooth line. And so I'm kind of adding a little crimson red to those places. You went a little too far there. I wonder if I can just grab some green and paint over it. Nice. Yeah, but I don't want to go overkill either, so... Uh -huh. Alright, we need to work on this face. <laughs> Can't just leave it like this. Let's try to draw in the eyebrows. Okay, she looks really angry when you try to fix it. Okay, there we have some eyebrows. Not quite up to my usual standards. But I think they'll work for this. I think they're a little too dark, actually. I wonder if I just should have went in with this color, maybe. Make them a little more pointy. <laughs> then blend that up. And then maybe some uh, eyelashes. Ooh, this is gonna be scary. Okay. <sighs> Just hold my breath. I can do it. Okay. Mm, not bad, not bad. Okay, do the other one. Okay, that one needs a little more pigment. Do some lashes on the bottom edge. Okay, we're getting some eye shapes here. Do I want more white or do I want to keep it that sort of off white? Let me try a little more white. That's a little brighter too. I bet I could add like little polka dots on her cheeks for highlights. Oof, I kind of messed up her mouth. One tiny drop of a color in the wrong spot can completely change its appearance. It's really crazy. Sometimes it's for the better and sometimes it's not. <laughs> There's so much paint just sitting on top of her eye. Okay, and then maybe a drop of white on that for a highlight. Doop -a -doo. Kind of want to blend some of these highlights out. I'm going to do some last minute tweaks here to the face. I think I want to do what I did with the arms to the chin. Sort of outline it. Just a smidge. A little bit more shape. Wow. <laughs> this just doesn't look like something I drew. It's really weird. Now, something I did in the uh, concept was I took a brush like the one they provided. Like this. I just grabbed bits of anything and like pulled upwards to give the illusion of it falling, you know, like this. Just some motion blur. <laughs> but if it was too wet, it wouldn't work. And if it was dry, it also wouldn't work. So you have to find like that happy spot. I feel like I should add some motion blur to her as well. Let's see what happens if I grab her hair and go up. Okay, it's a little happening. Clean the brush a little. I don't want it to be brown coming off where the skin is. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I kind of like that. Falling. I feel like there's not enough emotion in her face. Since I'm so new to acrylics, like, just having a face, uh, I'll take it. <laughs> it looks like a face. I'll take it. Emotion, that's for tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like I wrote that way too big, but that is the skinniest brush I have. So I did have to go into my art supplies and use some that didn't come in this box. But other than that, this was quite the experiment. Look at it. It's not too bad, eh? Looks like she's fallen. Whoosh, like that. I really like the color scheme. I think it screams fall to me. I like it. I like it. And then like the greenish blue background. It's really mostly green. <laughs> Kind of feels wintry so it's like getting to that cold weather yeah this was definitely fun it's so different than what i like look at what i did on the paper like this is dry already but like the colors all look different like everything looks different very different <laughs> just goes to show you it's different on different mediums everything's so different you have to practice on everything to be the best ah i love the like texture it's so weird <laughs> I can't describe my feelings. It's like someone put like a snapchat filter of like art and put it over my art and now it looks like a painting. So weird. This definitely didn't like win me over like as my new favorite medium but it was so much fun to play with. Look at it. And the weird blobs for leaves. I love it. I want to thank everyone for watching. I also want to send a big thank you to Palletful for sending me this premiere pack to try and open and use the supplies and play around with them. 
Um, and I hope you all have a delicious evening. Follow up. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna put this somewhere safe. <laughs> Where it can dry in peace. Look, it's still shiny. Look at this paper towel. It looks like fall barfed all over it. It's actually kind of pretty. Not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bye. <laughs>